So hello fellow coin collectors. Oh, and banknote collectors. I can't forget you. You love banknotes, you love coins. Anyway, my name is Glenn and on my channel called Gamudu Coin Channel. Pronounce it however you want, it doesn't matter. So in today's video, we're just gonna look at free banknotes from Scotland and Ireland. So first thing you need to know is that in Scotland and Ireland, there is no central bank. These are actually issued by individual banks. And there are actually three or four in both Ireland and Scotland. And these are actually all backed by Bank of England banknotes held at the Bank of England. And this is rather unique in that there's only two other places that actually have private banks issuing banknotes and that is Hong Kong and Macau so and none of these banknotes are actually or well, banknote companies actually issue banknotes in other places so in like there is no dance bank in Scotland or Hong Kong or Macau there is no HSBC issuing banknotes in Scotland so it's a very good idea to actually uh, collect these type of banknotes so the first one I have here is the Bank Royal Bank of Scotland and this is not to be confused with the Bank of Scotland so there are two different banks that actually issue these banknotes in Scotland and the other bank is actually Clydesdale Bank so those are the three Banks that actually issue banknotes. And this one, the Royal Bank of Scotland, also still issues, or supposedly, the one pound banknote. But most of these banks from Northern Ireland and Scotland issue banknotes in the value of 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100 pounds. Yes, they issue 100 pounds, which the Bank of England does not. So this one actually has the coat of arms of the actual firm, the company. And you can see, promise to pay bearer on demand. So these are not legal tender, you can actually refuse them. And if you go to the bank theoretically, you can actually exchange them for Bank of England notes, which are legal tender. So if we actually have a look at the Bank of England notes. Oh, actually... The Bank of England is also another bank, so it's more like a private bank that actually issues banknotes with its own by the UK government. And these are demands, I promise to pay the bearer. So there are no legal tender. Uh, just getting a five dollar banknote. So, so in Australia you've got legal tender for Australia. In the UK you just got promise to pay the bearer on demand. That's why these banknotes are actually demonetized. But then you got India has legal tender banknotes, and uh, they are also demonetized as well. And the current banknotes are in the same color as the Bank of England. Then we've got some older banknotes actually used to circulate. So in Scotland, they've actually been issuing banknotes ever since. They were allowed to, so probably 16, 1700s. And uh, this one is actually an older version of the Royal Bank of Scotland, a green one. The watermark is. Hmm. So the watermark is some guy with a wig. Not too sure who that guy is. And on the back, we have the Edinburgh Castle, which is. Owned by the actually UK royal family. So you can see it's nice, beautifully engraved. And this bank now you're probably paying about five dollars for it. It's not very rare, it's actually quite common. And and this banknote was actually issued up into 1986. So this one's uh, 1st of May, 1975. So not really a harder banknote to get, but you know, in higher grade, you probably find it very difficult to get. Then we have the 
previous series of the five pound banknote they actually issued a polymer banknote back in 2016 this one's a 2010 issue so the actual polymer banknote's actually been redesigned this one has Lord Ile, first governor of the actual bank as you can see it's about 16-1700s with the actual wig that he's actually got on and the watermark is him now there's two banknotes here so this is actually uh, a let's have a look so we've got yep yeah, 42 43 so that's actually a pair that's what i actually like to collect is actually a pair of banknotes and this slide we've got Corsian castle from medieval castle uh, defenses pretty much made it obsolete when they actually had cannons so then we have the irish banks so there's actually four banks in ireland so there's the bank of ireland there's the dance bank that used to be called the northern bank uh, since 2013 there's the ulster bank and the first trust bank the first trust is actually phasing their banknotes out and just replacing them with bank of england banknotes so they don't have to worry about the problem of uh putting like uh 20 pounds of currency just letting it be stored they can probably move that to actually uh mm, to a more profitable area and as you can see it says sterling so sterling is actually silver which is 9 to 5 fine so 92.5 percent silver and this one actually has if you look on the side h ferguson 1884 to 1960 and he was an irish inventor he invented stuff like uh, he improved the tractor uh, there's a three point linkage system which is actually like a triangle type system that you put on back of the actual tractor so you've got uh if i show you uh where's my pen use a pencil so you've got the linkage here to the actual tractor then you've got one two three and on here you actually place uh i don't know maybe you place a plow so that actually allows you instead of having the one linkage system it gives you more control over the actual whole apparatus and you actually actually can uh, make it quite longer so that's one of the things that you actually implemented and he was also the first Irishman to build and fly a plane and he also supposedly invented the four wheel drive for, for racing cars so that's it this guy is actually very busy so don't complain about that you've done nothing just do something so that's definitely what you can do for your life so he's actually remembered for that he probably would have had a very fulfilling life and uh, no regrets on the back we actually have the city hall Belfast so here looks like it's actually taken after the Acropolis in Greece with the engravings looks pretty Greek or Roman style and here we actually have a plan for the actual tower so the top part looks like uh, an engineering uh, type of drawing and the bottom is just uh, how it actually visually would take and look like so two different types of plans and here's the actual tower itself quite nice I like this banknote so this one was replaced by polymer in 2006 2019 that's it so these ones are being withdrawn and you can actually change them from polymer banknotes now i'm not too sure if they're actually going to demonetize these but i got this banknote in 2017 so that's four years ago and it was 
a pretty current banknote. I've got this as in exchange with a, an American collector. So anyway, those are some banknotes from the UK and Ireland. Now you can use Bank of England banknotes in UK and Ireland, but in England you probably can't use Scottish banknotes and you probably can't use Irish banknotes in England. And also, if you take this to Scotland, you probably can't use it. If you take this to Northern Ireland, you probably also can't use it. And if you take it to Wales, uh, they probably only accept euros anyway. And I'll leave a link down below to Irish banknotes. Actually quite a nice series. A lot of them are actually quite hard to get, especially the higher denominations and the older ones. And also, these have actually been issued uh, in Scotland since ancient times and in Northern Ireland since 1929. There are older banknotes issued for Ireland, but they are quite hard to get. Especially the Dance Bank also issued banknotes in Ireland up until 1940. They're very hard to get. If I ever get one, I'll make a video. Uh, but that's going to be a very expensive video to actually make. Anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time.